Why is it so hard to appreciate what we have? Why is it so difficult to be satisfied with everything in our lives? We always seem to be chasing the next big thing. But the funny thing is, uh, for the most part at least, everything in our lives was once just a wish. For example, a few years ago we badly wanted that car that we drive today but now our neighbor has an SUV and that's what we want as well. The house that we live in was once just a goal. Maybe at one point all you wanted was to marry the love of your life but now you say things are different. How does our dream job become a job that we so hate? All situations in our lives were once just a wish, so why is it that today we can't appreciate all of those things? How come we're not satisfied with what we have? Okay, let's do some reality check. Here are three compelling reasons you should take a step back. Stop comparing yourself with others and be actually grateful for what you do have instead of being miserable about what you don't. Keep watching guys. Number one, you need to appreciate yourself. The fact that you're alive and kicking is the first thing you should feel happy about. Regardless of how your life situation is, you're still alive and have a chance to work things out. Did you know around 100,000 people die in their sleep every night and hundreds of thousands die in road accidents every day? Well, we sleep every night and travel almost every day, so what's the guarantee that we can't be one of those? And yet we wake up every day and get home safely. Isn't that something to be thankful for? Damn right, yes. Number two, value what you have. Let me share a short story with you. There was this guy who owned a small house in the hills, but he wanted to sell his house, so he asked his real estate agent to write an announcement for him. The ad said, a beautiful property where birds sing at dawn in extensive woodland with a view of sparkling waters of a large stream. The house is bathed in light of the sun the whole day with plenty of shade in the evening to enjoy sleep and wake up fresh. When the owner read the ad, he immediately called his agent and said, I've changed my mind. I realized upon reading about the house that this treasure has always been mine. Sometimes we underestimate the good things we have and choose to chase after false treasures instead. Just look around and appreciate what you do have and your home, your loved ones, your friends that you can count on, all the knowledge that you've gained and your good health. Number three, understand the difference between wants and needs. More you want, more your wants will become its a process. Sure, I'd like another promotion. An increment would also be nice. I've always thought it'd be cool to have a portable audio player and so on. And to your surprise, the day I get those things, I'll immediately raise the bar. Now let's take a look at your needs. Be honest, it's not much, is it? shelter, food, water, clothing, work, reliable transportation and communication and a few simple furnishings could complete the list. Most everything else is actually extra convenience and luxury. I'm not saying that you have to live like a monk but do understand the difference between wants and needs. Your needs will always remain the same whilst your wants will keep on increasing and when you acknowledge this truth it'll help you break the mindset of always wanting more. Remember, whatever our life is today, it could always be worse. Let's be thankful it's not. With that said, the video comes to an end. If you like the content, please hit the like thumbs up button. And if you're watching my videos for the first time, I encourage you to subscribe and press the bell icon to get more self-development content directly in your YouTube feed. Thanks for watching.